What this shows is uh, on a temperature scale relative to average temperatures uh, that were measured in the year 2000 is that particular geography predicted to get a lot hotter uh, where, where five, you get red maybe up near 5 degrees C delta uh, up and or blue would be 5 degrees cooler. And these are really important because swings of even that amount relative to growing crops uh, has a material impact. And so if you look at sort of the bread basket of the United States, even in, in this intervening decade, the average temperatures, at least by this model, would be predicted to be up slightly. The little white boxes here show how much uh, of, the, of the rainforest is essentially being chunked out and, and eliminated. Uh, and so the real question is, if you're a policy person, you know, how much would it be worth to you to, to you know, not have this thing go up to, to 3%? Uh, so maybe, you know, you can tell, well, let's run it out, you know, half a century. And if it, even if you just leave it at the levels it is, it, it's clear that in the United States, but also if you look at northern uh, uh, Europe and, and uh, you know, northern parts of, uh, of Russia, you're starting to see some significant changes in the overall temperatures. So you might ask yourself, well, what if I was able to reduce this? If I was, you know, let's say, paid, you know, the Brazilians not to cut down the trees. Well, you can actually see that over a 50-year period, that you could really get them to, to lower that. Uh, the rainforest would obviously be a, a lot smaller, and uh, but and the temperatures, you know, would potentially be quite a bit less.